guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome back to another purse sale video. So in this video, I am selling purses that I've thrifted, and if you're interested in purchasing any, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information's always down below in the description box, and the sold list is located in the comment section. It will always be the first comment pinned down in the comment section. So make sure you check that list before you email me. And um, I accept PayPal. And if you have not bought from me before, just make sure that you send me your PayPal email and your mailing address. The prices that you hear in the video are not including shipping. That is based on your location and the weight of the items or items, item or items that you're interested in. Um, also, if you can give me a screenshot or a description and um, timestamp of the item that you're interested in. Um, I also, in, in addition to the thrifted purses, we are going to be opening a Thread Up name brand handbag rescue box. Okay, so there's not that many purses this week. I'm very sorry. I haven't been too lucky. Uh, we're only on one page here but I do have a clearance section included, and I also want to mention a fellow reseller and YouTuber um, for my creator showcase. She is a new creator, and her name is Chrissy, and she is with Windy City Resell, and I will put her information here on the screen and also the link to her um, channel in the description box, so you can go ahead and give a, um, subscribe and check out her videos. She is obviously a reseller and she does unboxing videos and hauls and um, all that good stuff. So if you want to check her out, I'll put the link in the description box for you. So let's get started with the um, clearance section. And we have the Kate Spade, let me move over, the Kate Spade patent leather. It's like a bone ivory color. And it did have a mark um, right there. And it is very nice condition, a nice big size tote, as you can see. Uh, the bottom does have a couple marks, but you know, it's the bottom. Um, the chain it has a nice chain handle and the patent leather straps are in good condition. I stuffed it so you guys can see a little bit better what it looks like, but here's the inside. You have the center zippered compartment, your slips and your zip, and there is a stain on this side. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right there, and it goes onto the bottom a little bit, and there is an ink stain down there. And there you can kind of see it but the other side looks okay so this one we are dropping down to fifty dollars five zero okay um, then we have the UGG crossbody with the uh, faux fur and the genuine black leather <clears throat> I even like the little shoulder pad that it has this one is in really excellent condition and it has silver tone hardware, zip closure. The inside has your zipper on the side there and there's your UGG um, authenticity tag, I guess it's called. <laughs> so we have this super cute. This is perfect for the winter time coming up and we're dropping this one to 45. This one is like literally in like brand new condition. It's really so, so nice. Okay, then we have the Da Vici, which I said this purse is so unique and it can go up to about $300 depending on the um, size and condition of the bag on eBay. And this is a big one. It's a nice big tote. This would even be great for going to the beach. It seems like a nice vacation-y type of tote. There is a mark here that I had mentioned in the last video um, and on the other side. But it's a really cool, like, I wanna say tweed, but I don't think it's tweed. It's like, um, 
rope, I guess, and really nice long shoulder handles. And then the inside is plain black. Again, very nice condition on this one too. There's your tag, nice metal tag, and there's a zipper there. So this one's so unique and in very good condition, except a couple minor marks. Um, and we're dropping this one to 65. Very unique. Okay, then last in the clearance section, we have the black leather Brighton with the silver tone studs. And there's your tassel and your Brighton hang tag. It does have some wear on it, but I feel like all those hang tags have wear. The back has the little slip pocket. Really nice condition on the handle. And then the inside is a really pretty floral print. There's your zipper, your creed, and your you have another slip and I mean another zipper and slips. So this shoulder bag, it's in really nice condition, nice butter leather, and we're dropping it to 45. Okay, so that's it for the clearance section. So remember, if you are interested in purchasing anything, to check the sold list pinned in the comments before you email me. It just helps with the amount of emails that I receive, um, and it allows me to get to everyone in a timely manner. Um, also, payment is required immediately once you receive the PayPal invoice. Um, I usually only give about an hour time frame for you to pay. I do have people that do ask me for purses. Um, you know, I could get a bunch of emails at once and then I have to filter through who sent me the email first and go in line. So if you want a purse but you're not answering me, but somebody else wants it, you know, I, it's got to be first come, first pay. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, I try to be fair to everybody, but I can't wait very long. Um, it's just, it gets too much to remember who wants who and who wants what and all this stuff. It gets very confusing. So let's move on to the thrifted purses. And I got all of these from the usual places. So um, I actually did not get any from any estate sales. Um, I did go to a few estate sales, but I got all hard goods um, for my booths. So let's start with the first one is by a brand called Hogan. And I never heard of this brand before, but it seemed to be in really nice condition and really like quality, um, quality made and quality leather and calf hair. Like look at that. It's leather, calf hair, and suede. It does have um, a couple marks on the suede, but um, that's gonna happen with suede. It's very finicky, but overall, I mean, look at the sides with the calf hair at the bottom. I mean, look at that. The back is the suede and the leather. It's a little misshapen. I did stuff it, but I guess it did, it's not working the greatest. But this is a zipper pocket here and it's plain, no pockets in the back. It does have a little, I mean, it's just suede. It's not like ruined, it's not scratched. It's just like, um, it's been, I guess something sat on it and made a mark but I really liked it. And there's your tag. And the handle's really nice leather. And the inside is brown. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that too well. And it has your uh, zipper pocket there with the Hogan again. And the other side is plain. So it's really nice condition on the inside too. Zipper closure with a really cute braided leather pull. So this one we're going to do $30. It's so cute. It's so like boho, fits great under your shoulder. So this one, 30 bucks. Love that one. And it's like the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. So, and the fall's coming, it's gonna be perfect for fall, taking it to apple picking and pumpkin picking and hay rides, you know, it's a perfect size just to keep right under your arm, so keep that in mind. Okay, so next we have a Steve Madden. <clears throat> I love this one. Um, it is faux leather, it is a crossbody. It is in 
excellent condition. And it's got this like crisscross pattern here. There's your Steve Madden. It does have a zipper along the sides, which you can extend the purse out. And the inside has a snap closure zigzag inside there's your steve madden and the zipper pocket and it is really in like really nice condition it might i mean it maybe it was used once or maybe even not because i can't find anywhere on it at all so this is a really nice one again as i hit myself in the face with the tassel um, again this one's really great for coming into the fall season and we're going to do 25 on it Okay, then I have, I, okay, so this purse is so cute. I know now that it's mid-August, um, it might be a little out of season, but I, it's just so cute, so cute. So the brand is America and Beyond, right? This is the right one? Yeah. Look how cute. So it's got these uh, like rectangle handles. It is mesh, but it's lined, and it's like a slouchy tote. It's got these really cute pom-poms with the tassel. There's the back, and it's a really nice big size look. And then the inside, you have the silver lining. <laughs> uh, were there any pockets? I don't think so. No, no pockets, it's just one big open section so cute i know i'm really close to the camera but it is really cute if anyone's going away for labor day weekend this is the bag for you um and if you're watching this and it's not the summertime sorry <laughs> so cute so cute so cute so we're gonna do 30 on that one um Next, we're going to do, okay, next we have, okay, next we have a black faux leather purse, but it is too cute. So here it is, and the brand is Deb and Dave, which I've never heard of, but look at how cute. Woo, I love the fringe, and it's so in right now. Here's the handle, it's like a slouchy faux leather handle, it is plain on both sides. It is in excellent condition. I just thought it was too cute. Here is the one side with the name and the zipper. The other side has your slips right there. And it is extremely clean on the inside. I'm probably not gonna be able to show you, but it's clean. <laughs> So really cute, again, almost like new condition. I love this, a nice long strap and it's nice and flowy, woo. This one is really cool. I might, I'm not gonna keep it. Okay, so we're gonna do 25 on it, 25 bucks. I mean, come on. For all the fall time activities again coming, this would look so cute. Um, country music festivals, oh, adorable. Okay, so next we have a Patricia Nash. Now, it is a crossbody. It is white leather with like a beige. There is an issue though, but it's on the back. So here's the front. It is a wallet crossbody. The strap is awesome. Here's the front, you know, Patricia Nash with her tooled leather. It's awesome. So the front pocket is like a little pouch with the suede in there. Oh God, I love it. Then you open up the main compartment and you have yourself a little wallet. You have your change, you have all, there's your Pat Patricia Nash with your card slots and card slots there. Oh, does my phone fit? Let's see. That was a good thing that I thought of. Oh yes, it does, look. 
perfect. And I have a big um, 11 Pro Max. I, yeah. Okay, so now let's let me show you the back. Now, because this is leather, um, and the back of it hits at like your hip, where your jean pockets are and stuff like that, that's what the back looks like has a pouch there so just so you know I have to show you obviously everything that I can um, there are a couple little scratches there but overall it's just mainly on the back some on the bottom but again that's gonna be at the back so it's up to you if you know you're not into it I get it but I just think it's really cute and we're gonna just do 25 on it so I think that's a really good deal. Even though there's a boo-boo. Boo-boo purses need love too. <laughs> All right, so next we have a really cool one and it is brand new with tags. So remember to keep that in mind for gifts this season. Um, you can always search on eBay or uh, watch your fellow reseller friends videos for new with tag items to get a really good deal for gifts. Here it is, look at this, wow, I love it. So this brand is called Karma, and it is handmade in India, I think, right? Yep, brand new with tag, it is embroidered, and on the sides, the back is blank, and there's the bottom. The straps are like a, um, I, I, these almost remind me of suspender straps. <laughs> and then the inside you have your Karma logo with the zipper and the other side is blank. Really nice big cloth embroidered, hand embroidered tote. And we're going to do 30 on this one. I mean, look how bright the colors are. This is so crazy. I love it love it okay next we have I love this one too so I have I really like saddlebags I think they're really cool they're so boho they're so like Western and that's always in that's like a style that's never gonna go away so this is a lucky brand look at this I stuffed it because it just looks so fabulous this is beautiful black butter leather suede sides suede bottom it has a little stitch stitching here stitching there tassel suede tassel here you guys the strap is adjustable you can make it into a shoulder bag or keep it as a crossbody this is kind of like a long shoulder bag right now and then you just flip the flap it is magnetic There's your lucky brand with the zipper. I think this is actually, I think this might be borderline vintage now, this tag. And then you have your slips on that side. So now the inside is super, super nice. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it down there. There's the tag, but really nice condition. Smells like super well-made leather, leather bag and we're going to do 40 on it. I mean, it's so stinking cute. This will take you right into the fall, right into the winter, 40 bucks. Okay, last one. I have a little story about this one. I found this one on shopgoodwill.com. I was the only one that bid on it, so I won the auction on it. And <clears throat> I won it on I want to say July 25th and it is now Friday August 13th lucky Friday the 13th um, and I just got it yesterday I paid that same day that I won it and it I just got it now um, I even sent them two emails like hello where's my order um, I don't even know if they got the messages but it showed up at my door yesterday I've never waited that long for something on Shop Goodwill. I was kind of thinking that they forgot about me 
and it wasn't even that far. It was, um, the place was in Bridge, the Goodwill was in Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is an hour, maybe a little, maybe an hour and 20 from me. So I could have just went there. I mean, anyway, it's a Michael Kors. It's brown leather crossbody. I thought it was so unique. Here it is. It's got like a um, croc type of um, print uh, texture, I guess. Gold tone studs. It's the same on the back. The gold tone studs, they don't even have a lot of wear. There's The only wear that I found on the whole purse was the little bit on the corners. See how it's just a little bit lighter? But it's such a soft butter leather. There's your Michael Kors. The, the zipper pull is in really nice condition. Then you um, unzipper it. I just wanna make sure I was recording because I've done that before. I've not pressed record or stopped the video and then came back and didn't press record. Anyway, there's the inside, your uh, card slots, and there's your Michael Kors with your little slip pocket. Super cute. This one is small. Oh, it still fits my phone, so we're good. Okay, so this one, really cute. I love the chain on here too. <clears throat> we're gonna do 30 bucks on it. Really nice. I actually don't mind the little bit of wear on the corners. I think it kind of makes the bag. Okay, so that's it for my thrifted purses. Um, so if you're interested in anything, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Check that sold list pinned in the comments before you email me. Now, let's open the thread up box. <laughs> so this one came from Swanee, Georgia. And it's a, it was a really small box. I mean, look. It's like the flat ones that the fun boxes usually come in. So I'm kind of nervous because like here, this is the size of the purse one that it usually is. So let's just make sure because I, I haven't ordered a fun box in a really long time. So let's just, yep, name brand handbag. Okay. You guys. How many times am I gonna get this Rebecca Minkoff purse? <laughs> I sw this one's a little bit different, but I swear I've gotten this purse in every color so far. So, um, let's take a look at it. Gold tone chain handle, it seems like it's in good condition. It's crossbody strap. The front seems to be okay. It's like a, I would say it's gray. Okay, no. The bottom, see the studs, very worn. The corner, ooh, geez Louise. Yikes, okay. All the tassels are here. I mean, this bag was super well loved. Even the top there and that side. Yikes, yikes Amundo. The inside is surprisingly decent. It's just a little discolored up on top here, but other than that, it's it's good. So, this will come out to probably be, they're usually 20, they're 20 bucks a bag because it's $100, you get five bags. So I'm just gonna ask 20 on this one. It's, um, I, yeah. It's not in the worst condition, but, 20 bucks. <clears throat> oh, this one's cute. So we have a Michael Kors crossbody, leather handle, leather crossbody strap, good condition. That looks in good condition. Back looks good. There's a little pocket there. Bottom and sides, there's just a little mark there. But other than that, the sides are good. The zipper pulls do have a little bit of wear. So let's check the inside. Okay, we're good. 
it's a little discolored there, but I can probably clean that up. Same thing here, but again, that's an easy fix. I just can clean that up. And then you open up the center and you have this little like wallet section that snaps. So overall, not bad. So let's do 40 on it, four zero. And I'll clean up the interior for you guys, not a problem. That's so funny, I used to have this exact same purse. This is Kate Spade, it's a red Safiano leather crossbody bag. Look, there's me in the, hi. <laughs> um, it's, I mean, the Kate Spade turn lock is in pretty good condition. There's the back. The sides look good. Nice, nice. They're probably like, okay, we're gonna give her a really SHIT one and then the rest will be good. Let's hope. <laughs> so there's the inside. There's little markings there. Mm, okay, we're good. There's just a little mark there. But other than that, we're good. And this does fit a phone, fits. I used to have this one. Um, so yeah, this one's good, good to go. So we're gonna do, um, let's do 45 on it, good condition. All right, now we have a bigger purse. This is Kate Spade as well. I like the color combo. It's a nice structured tote, perfect for the office. It does have a mark there. I can try to get that off. I'm not making any guarantees, but I can try to get that off. There's a couple, actually that wasn't a mark, okay. So I can definitely try to get off these little marks here, um, but it's really not a big deal if they stay on, they're not that bad. The back is cool, there's just that one little spot. Um, these have a little bit of wear. Nothing crazy though. The handles are actually good. The bottom is just a little dirty. Ooh, the side is suede, okay. I can try to clean that up as well. But it's not horrible. Oh good, good, good. It does have the shoulder strap. Excellent, good condition. And the inside is actually good, okay. Let me check all the pockets and the zippers. Okay, so the first compartment, there's a couple little pen marks down there and on right here. And then here on this side, there's a stain that goes across the side. I, I'm gonna clean these up before I sell them to you. So hopefully the, um, the wear and stuff won't be bad as bad, but that center one is clean. So this one, this one will do 45 as well because it there's, I know it's a big one, but there's a couple of issues. So 45 on that. And then I just got so nervous that there wasn't a fifth item that I just almost like, <laughs> okay, here it is. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. It's Furla, which is a high-end brand, that's fine. Um, it does have a mark there. I'm going to get uh, Magic Erasers because there's two purses that I did not include in the haul, but I will. It'll probably be at the end or maybe you've already seen it because I'll put it before this part. <laughs> um, but I have to buy Magic Eraser and clean them first. I totally forgot, so I will try to clean this one as well. I don't know if it's gonna come out, but that's Furla. It's orange, Safiano leather. It's got some weird stuff on the back I can try to clean. Um, but this is, the, this is the kind of wallet I have from Gucci, but it opens this way and um, 
All it has is card slots here and here. There's no money slot. I don't really carry cash, so. But that part is really clean. The inside is really clean. There's just that little mark up top there. Here's your furla. You have a little change pocket that's clean. I mean, I don't even know if that was even used, that section. It's a little dirty there. This is pretty interesting. So, um, I can always let you guys know. If I can clean it up, I'll let you know on the screen. Because this, this is pretty cool. Um, I will put also some pricing information on the screen about this as well. Okay, so that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you check out the description box for all the information that you need to contact me and make sure you check that soul list. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next one.